If you're a developmental biologist, how do you interact with other developmental biologists? There's only so many conferences you can attend, especially if you're in the beginning of your career and have a limited travel budget. The internet is the best way to interact with people across the world, but how do you find other developmental biologists? The Node is a solution for this problem, a single community site where anyone can post and comment. This year, the Node is celebrating its fifth anniversary, which we celebrated with a small party at the Society for Developmental Biology meeting in Utah. Most developmental biologists have heard about the Node, but how did it all start? Several years ago, development asked its authors, editors and reviewers for feedback on how well it serves its community. Many of you asked for a website where the community could come together and discuss developmental biology. Eventually, the development team decided to go for a truly community-driven format, a community blog where anyone can post and comment with minimal restrictions. So, in 2010, at the Gurdon Institute in Cambridge in the UK, at a party attended by Sir John Gurdon himself, the Node was born. But why do you use the Node and what is it useful for? We ask Node users from around the world for their thoughts. I mean, I use the Node because it's the only forum we have, really, for interacting with other, with other developmental biologists. And uh, it's, I think, a fantastic forum where you can get news information that's relevant to us. And it is a forum where you can also disseminate information. I guess the short answer is there's loads of interesting stuff on there. So it's just a nice read. Um, so, so, yeah, and then, you know, as you go on through your career, it's been a great place to spot job adverts, to post job adverts, um, and to just kind of take the temperature a bit of the field, but in a much more informal way. On the Node, I particularly like the meeting report uh, sections because that allows me to have a look at meetings that I can't attend myself and see what's happening at the cutting edge of developmental biology. Uh, I used to read about developmental biology, but about things that, don't, uh, that I can't find in papers or in, in journals in general, like meetings and tips and stories. So I'm part of the Young Embryologist Network and we use the node to spread the word about events and try and build the network. Well, I find the interviews with, with prominent development biologists very interesting, you know, the journey that they took to arrive at various findings, that's really, you know, fun to read about. I like this one day series. I think it's a great idea to introduce the different model organisms from the perspective of the people who are actually doing the experiments. Uh, so it's a, it's a great idea to introduce different model organisms for, to the community. One of the things I like about the Node is the ability to share things that I've seen either uh, in science or in papers or in conferences or in courses and be able to share those experiences with other people that have not had the chance to uh, participate in those. You know, it gives you a platform where you don't have to just get in line and say, oh yes, my grant will, will you know, address this strategic priority, blah, 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 blah. You can actually talk about what you care about, which is, you know, fundamental basic research. There have been many exciting posts in the Node's history, from the ever-popular image competitions in collaboration with the Woods Hole Embryology course, which now feature on our postcard sets, to the careers, outreach and model organism series, from clay embryos to science cookies, from the hundreds of posts about exciting new research to the heated discussions on the topics you care about, from no doodles to your own fan art. The Note's birthday gift to itself was a new, exciting and modern design, as well as a new logo that acknowledges the role of the company of biologists, the not-for-profit publisher that runs the Note. But despite its new look, the Node still has the same objective, to be a connection point where you, the developmental biology community, can come together and discuss science. I guess what I would like to see is, uh, is less the Node delivering, but more the community delivering. So it would be great if the community would become more interactive. In the next five years, I would like to see a lot more people participating in writing uh, and commenting. Uh, I think that one of the nice things about it is uh, all the nice discussions that come about on the comments uh, after the post, and uh, I would like to see a lot more of that. I hope you'll join us in making the Node even better in the next five years.